For some composers of the first part of the 20th century, music of the late Romantic period had gone too far. It, it was perceived as over-emotional and unstructured. So they felt the need of resetting and pointed back to the music of the Baroque and classical era as great examples of order, clear rules, and structure. American composer Samuel Barber made a great contribution to this neoclassical period with his Capricorn Concerto. He found inspiration in one of the most popular Baroque forms, the Concerto Grosso, that was characterized by the contrast between a small group of soloists and a full orchestra. In this case, this small group of soloists is comprised of one flute, one oboe, and one trumpet, in contrast with a full string orchestra. This piece was named after the house that Barber and his partner, the composer Giancarlo Menotti, shared in New York, the house in which he composed this piece, a place that he loved and he thought of it as having a particularly beautiful light during the winter. So they named the house Capricorn and he named this piece the Capricorn Concerto.